Welcome to the free audio rendering of Not Without Scars 2. Such an insightful and impactful work must be accessible to the countless number of people living similar life experiences. Becoming a best-selling author pales in comparison to creating a tool capable of instilling hope in a multitude of people trapped in the valley of decision. My greatest profit comes in helping others emerge victorious over their life struggle. My goal is to encourage individuals to follow their dream. My message, you must never quit on your faith, pursuing your aspiration or vision. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take a moment, invite your family, friends and acquaintances and enemies to listen to this work chapter by chapter. It is free to listen as well as free to subscribe. Peace, love and phenomenal blessing. How do I write my life story? I know hurt and pain. I don't like either one, whether physical or emotional. Herein contains my story, Not Without Scars, Part 2. Optimism, Perseverance, Persistence, Resilience. Two decades of personal struggle. Optimism, I faced a new millennium with hopefulness. Perseverance. My ego, my humble beginnings, my desire to achieve never allow me to turn away from a difficult task. Persistence. Opposition should be anticipated as an effective strategy to victory surfaces. Resilience. Difficulties do not automatically spell termination. Scars reveal my imperfection as reminders of past episodes of pain, sorrow, or triumph. Scars can tell beautiful story endings or relay misery that wishes to remain anonymous. This work is meant to help others who have experienced decades of struggle. When struggles appear to never end, you must get through the night and face the challenge of a new dawn with fresh hope. Not Without Scars 2, Chapter 30 A Visionary's Voice cannot die. Introduction. No matter what the circumstances, the difficulties, or the opposition, I cannot afford to allow my voice as a visionary to die. I cannot permit my personal distraction, hardships, or revenue shortages to silence my pronouncement of a vision that holds promise for so many people. The gift within me is not for myself. It is for the benefit of society. The recognition of the divine gift impartation was not given to me for self-aggrandizement, but for proliferation of good for the less fortunate other people. In a world of political correctness, the controlling of the narrative remains the key to who holds power. If any were, if if my words or any other black or oppressed individual run contrary to the power broker's narrative, there arises a great risk of being censored or other more severe consequences. The athlete, the entertainer, the activist, the politician, or any other person of significant influence must be careful not to offend those in power. They may have their economic livelihood immediately pulled from under them. If one chooses to make bold statements or take controversial positions, there may be a heavy price to pay. I have paid heavy prices that have resulted in isolation and solitude. It was in these settings that the vision became profound. I began to see clearly what had always flooded my veins, but I was not able to articulate what I felt or desired to see performed. The vision clarity presented me with the insight to envision how the implementation could occur. I need to be heard in order for the vision to be seen by those who have the resources to move the vision toward complete fruition. Wherefore, I cannot permit my voice to die. The pen and paper are tools at my disposal to keep my aspirations alive. Therefore, as an agent of change, I must retain my commitment to alter the current social and political norm by positive action. 
What I cannot set in motion, I must record for future reference. In addition, what is recorded must reveal the blueprint of how the action may be implemented, what it should look like when fully integrated, and where it will have the greatest impact to move the black community and all oppressed people toward a higher quality of existence. A clear vision will enable others to march purposely toward the consummation of an epic achievement. The message has to be articulated with both passion and clarity. The vision and message must mesh. A visual aid, a written word, or an eloquent or oration has to move the audience, the people, to a direct positive course of action. Each person who will encounter the vision must become convinced of its impelling nature. The urgency must be clearly understood and easily internalized. The ascension of my vision will not reveal feel good days or vain glory or personal aspiration. The vision shall equip, call, and prepare leaders and servants for the lives of giving the, their utmost to the well being of others. I have no choice in the matter. I cannot afford to permit my visionary voice to die. Historical. If you have built castles in the air, your work need to be lost. If you have built castles in the air, your work need not be lost. This is where they should be. Now put the foundation under them. Henry David Thoreau. Seeing the future produces hope. Through a spiritual and unique process, I have arrived at the point of stating the visionary role as my divine calling. I have reached this place on my journey amidst a most unique course of action. Living in rural apartheid America as a youth, poverty, imprisonment, loss of wealth, loss of rep reputation, loss of family, and loss of freedom is what could be described as the greatest potential for success in my life. Yet I count all these things, but minute loss for the joy set before me. All these experiences have shaped me into the flawed visionary, willing to continue to stay the course and grasp the value of the vision for others. The loftiness of the vision was the easiest segment for me to embrace. It has been the visualization and construction through my writing, the infrastructure and foundation on how to support what I have seen in the clouds of my mind. Viewing the finished product is a euphoric act. Getting others to understand how such a grandiose feat can be accomplished requires the most diligent of labors, the grunt work. The soil activities that shall occur away from the microphone or the well-lit stage with multiple cameras will mostly go unnoticed and underappreciated. The spirit of the vision has to connect with the reader, viewer, or listener. The connection should have the power to steer individuals to join the work, surrendering with genuine humility to attach themselves with a vision to liberate the imperfect people and impoverished people from mental and emotional shackles that construct that constrict their physical possibilities. The importance of a solid foundation cannot be understated when speaking in terms of moving a collective multitude of injured people to a place of wholeness and wellness. Not everyone possesses the moral fiber that enables them to withstand the pressures of non-compromise or the spiritual maturity to resist coercion and walk defiantly along a new pathway. This is extremely difficult for people who have constantly been lied to, betrayed, and faced broken promises as a consistent diet or rhetoric. Mental images as the residue of oppression must be dismantled. The vertex of a fresh vision must draw individuals upward toward an ever expanding nucleus of positive potential. Simultaneously, the immediate need must be met and tangible gains in reach of accomplishment. I see the future and it has inspired me with great hope.
social black experience. Flawed visionary leader, one who has defects, but overcomes them to direct others on a journey that conventional wisdom would declare impractical, one who possesses great faith, nation building, Mark Carvin Olds. The visionary marches to the tomb of triumph. The message has been divinely implanted within, within me, will bring healing to the multitude. I speak of a vision, but I am a visionary grounded in truth and practical down to earth experiences. I do not only hyperbolize about dreams of splendid grandeur, I have lived in trenches and sewers of life. The stains and smell of past dismay do not have an aura or aroma of, to, of my today and tomorrow. The urgency to build a future must commence today. The, mil, the building must not be for some out of reach or non-attainable date in the promise of years to come. Young men and young women die daily in our streets. Droves continue as the entrepreneurial venture, venture of choice. Penal cars is overrun with great minds which are needed to help construct a new vantage point for the black community. Seniors having to choose between food to sustain themselves and medication to survive ought to kindle the fire in any person of means to desire to build something new and sustainable. Children who cannot read find themselves in a survival race with the most educationally and technologically advanced global community in history. This fact that should spark the inner consciousness of those with accessible resources to embrace an opportunity to build something justifiable and maintainable. Children have been exposed to so many vile activities at a young age, shoulder an expectation of living life and remaining innocent. This fact should signal the time has arrived for people of consciousness to arise and build an environment of hope. As a visionary, I understand the prerequisite to march to the tomb of triumph. This requirement is not optional. Throughout the black community, the responsibility for change has to be a personal choice. The community co consensus is to, prove an, is to prove an atmosphere conducive for the individual to make their decision in a peaceful, supportive, and spiritual embodiment of collaborative hope. I will not give up. I shall continue to seek the venues to reach the people. I realize that there is no need for additional signs and miracles. What, what We are the miracles to bring hope and triumph to this generation. We do not need to look for signs. We need builders to construct what will protect our children, our women, and give our brothers the opportunity to redeem their leadership role in the most honorable and dignified manner possible. Theological, where there is no vision, no redemptive revelation of God, the people perish. Proverbs 29, 18.8. The power to see is the same power required to succeed. Without a vision, the revisionist historians will begin the chapter about black people with an introduction there was once a strong and proud people called black. This must not happen. There is a redemptive revelation. There is a vision for the black community. I shall not die, but live to expound upon this vision in as many halls and diverse venues I have the privilege to enter. It has to become personal. Each black person must have a mandate within them to not see the black community eradicated from the ex by from external forces and destroyed by the internal loss of vision. Too many past struggles have been overcome, too many glorious achievements ascertained, and too much potential still remains for the black community to perish. I have vowed to do my part and not allow my voice to die. Not only must I speak, but I must envision what my words reflect. I have learned to speak those things that are not as though they were already 
in existence. The power to see, envision, and declare releases the power from within to succeed, prosper, and thrive. As a visionary, I have the role to deliver a vision. It has to be done in such a fashion that the people perceive their individual responsibility to the completion of the vision. The realization of a vision most appreciated and understood by the people it is intended to help. If the people cannot imagine that what is being presented holds promise of coming true, then the greatest of vision cannot become an excellent plan with execution. The people must envision the realization of the struggle and the climactic end as a triumphant and not a dead end of frustration. The declaration must assert a personal and collaborative feeling of a victory worth of being worthy of being uniformly proclaimed by all. I do not ever foresee the time when past laurels will exceed the need to have a vision so that my people, black people, and all oppressed people shall live and not perish. Twenty eighteen to twenty twenty, two decades of personal struggles summation. A the unwanted but necessary choices. Choices are viewed as the point where positive or negative directions are determined. I had had to make choices to stay or remain after the decisions have gone afoul. Choices are endless. No matter where you are, life will not permit you or extend to you an automatic pilot button. Even during the worst moments of my life, I had been faced with difficult decisions when it appeared the bottom had already fallen out. I had learned that when digging out of a bad situation, I have not been greeted by an elevator operator pressing the up button for me. No matter how low things have gotten for me, I had to remember who I was and fight my way upward. The struggle to ascend from an abyss can prove a valuable strengthening tool. This apparatus represents the unwanted but necessary choice. Fight with all your might and faith or stay forever in a pit of despair. B, the nomadic life. Challenges have forced me to move about. Changing location has served to remove the fear of change from my life while building confidence in who I am. Given the time and opportunity, I have the confidence that I can succeed anywhere. The more frequent the change of locus, the more opportunities I have of meeting new people. The greater the number of fresh faces with whom I interact, the more I learn and the more opportunities present themselves for me to teach. The 21st century has proven not to be my retirement year, but the greatest phase of achieving monumental accomplishment. There remain continents on the planet where I have yet to make a footprint, both physically and with the indelible footprint of the vision that grows within me. C, C Data Site LLC, www.cdatasite.com. I undertook an entrepreneurial venture to create a data site. It required that I refocus the resources that I had left. I needed to create a revenue stream that would generate the financial flow to launch programs and investment to fuel a renaissance in the black community. Based on the program that I had designed, I had to start where I currently saw the opportunity. It had become obvious to me that I had to take whatever step necessary to move the vision forward. Our vision is to produce a safe and secure data site. We strive to eliminate many fake profiles and fraudulent scammers as possible. Our mission is to ensure the diffusion of social and spiritual peaceful alignment. We aim to build a community of interlocked individuals who share the, the common goal of discovering a fresh relationship and establish the companionship 
of their dream. We seek to build a community of caring and sharing individuals who will be responsible and accountable to one another. Our goal is to offer the most secure environment, fun atmosphere, and rewarding online dating community imaginable by building a community. Each individual has ownership and controlling the reputation of our site. Together, we can make an experience with C, a magnificent life occurrence. D, the great lockdown of 2020, a mid-crisis analytical report. Honor took this mission, research, and analysis in the midst of a crisis because no time or event should be wasted. I am willing to be a part of making history and not waiting or relying upon someone else to perform what I had the capability and capacity to perform. The Great Lockdown of 2020, a mid-crisis analytical report, represents a historical work that is being made by the people in the present with a view to being light out of a dark climate. In the midst of a dismal moment, when observed, the people will provide the indicators as to their needs and roles in building and establishing the new norm. The voice of the people will place at the fingertips of decision makers knowledge of how the area's resources should be deployed to best serve the society as a whole and address the needs and concerns of the people going forward. This study and narrative will serve as a guide to where key research should be directed and set the course for future social theoreticians to engage resources during crises. This work serves as a bridge for the preservation and growth of a society with the will of the people being received as important. In a reciprocal response, the people will be able to hear the words of leaders and authority figures with greater trust. The design of this work is to help prevent a further disconnect with authority, to assist in tearing down a wall of divisiveness in our society. It will also introduce a fresh approach to the people becoming entrenched in self-value and self-worth as a means of serving the nation and contributing to the global community in a very positive manner. The Great Lockdown of 2020 Mid Crisis Analytical Report will serve as a visible tool so each member of the, of the participatory who brought this work piece into existence can, profound, can proudly feel their efforts make them a co-author in a monumental work striving to empower the people. In addition, this work shall act as an instrument to assist people to ascertain all the positive offering life has in store for each person along their journey. The survey was conducted from April 15, 2020 to April 28, 2020. Unprecedented times demand unprecedented action. Unprecedented action command clear thinkers that arise with, uh, with objective thoughts to arrive at a consensus for the well-being of all as the outcome. Unprecedented must never be become confused with reckless or careless momentum-driven thoughts or initiatives. When told to purchase enough food for two weeks and immediately self-isolate, then words cause panic in the hearts of a parent providing for a family day by day. How do you self-isolate when living in a homeless shelter? Where do you go to practice the necessary hygiene guidelines when living out of a car? How does an ex-offender who owns a legitimate business stay afloat when a past record disqualifies them from the loans available through the stimulus package? Yet that individual's tax dollar liability never requests anything about a past record. How do you balance self-isolation and daily survival? The exploration of the needs of the less fortunate must be derived from their own voice. Too often, the hurting members of society are overlooked in the assessment of their daily living struggles. How do you hear a silent voice above the clamor of those rushing to garner power now or in the future? The Great Lockdown of 2020, a mid-crisis analytical report, will reveal what the people experienced during the height of mayhem and disillusion. Their story has to become an agenda unto itself. The marshalling of the strategies without sensitivity 
would never produce a sustainable trust from the people, no matter what accolades are bestowed upon the elite by the elite. This volume will reveal what goes on inside the hearts and minds of the people who are routinely left out of the decision-making process by a representative who has no understanding of their plight. It will reveal the intelligence of the people who have to make ends meet on a weekly, if not daily basis. Their wisdom will display what is missed by the collaborative elite who hold the power and the purse string. Unprecedented times demand unprecedented action. Unprecedented action command clear thinkers. E, never give up on faith. Dream Realize LLC. I never give up on my faith. I firmly believe that there is a solution available. American home ownership is down 61% as of 2015, Gallup.com. Applicants must meet very high, very standard, standardized criteria, criteria with a near credit, perfect credit score and a substantial down payment. To make a dream a reality, Gallup.com. Unfortunately, many do not have access to resources in realizing home ownership. Reality does not seem to be lining up with the American dream, and it will remain so until Dream Realize LLC steps in to aid impoverished populations that see home ownership as just that, a dream. Dream Realize LLC shall create an umbrella that will engage a select population in need through a practical and specific commerce program. Dream Realize LLC will provide individuals with an opportunity to develop financial literacy. Without formal academic training, impoverished citizens can be empowered to take ownership of not only of their education and work craft, but their own homes as well. They will sense something that they have not felt in a long time, economic freedom. Specifically, individuals who have made a commitment to a spiritual lifestyle may embark upon a unique opportunity through Dream Realize LLC, the faith community, a strategic partner, shall invite impoverished individuals to form a community that can participate in both a socioeconomic transitional phase as well as a spiritual transformational process on their journey to, to home ownership. While providing instruction in both evangelism and commerce, Dream Realize LLC shall extend full participation to an otherwise overlooked and excluded targeted population. Previously, the, these identified individuals would have functioned without the access, resources, or with wherewithal to obtain and maintain basic foundational elements necessary to, to create wealth. Through commingling of faith and work, a personalized conversation transpire. To further establish the conversion of home ownership into a physical existence, the home will be completely furnished and filled with all necessary appliances. Dream Realize LLC will offer consultant support regarding transportation. To finalize the deal, all purchases will be bundled into a single mortgage payment. On top of that, Dream Realize LLC shall offer this total package at 0% interest. Combine these components will increase the likelihood of sound and responsible financial management going forward. Practical economic ventures will help a de to develop a culture of sound fiscal management and deeds from an ownership perspective. Additionally, commerce opportunity will introduce this target market to, to profit share. Dream Realize LLC will help develop and support this population as a community with ancillary, ancillary assistance. This initiative is meant to invoke a sense of rising as producers rather than consumers only. Job creation opportunities, profit sharing, and franchise availability will help participants focus on their achievement. One goal shall persist in the creation of a manufacturing base. The workforce will produce high quality product at the lowest possible market prices while still yielding a demonstrative profit. By enabling a target population to realize their full potential, Dream Realize LLC remarkable endeavor can 
uplift the standard of living of all participants. A community that has been historically that denied access to services offered by traditional financial institutions may now gain a means of interest to economic stability.